Hi, I'm Scott. I'm a graduate student at The Ohio State University. In this short video, I will summarize the recent paper, Observing the Next Galactic Supernova, written with Chris Kachanik, John Beacom, Mark Viggins, and Chris Stanek. The scientific community is eagerly awaiting the next galactic supernova. A galactic core collapse supernova will allow an array of probes that are not possible for the many extragalactic supernovae that are observed. Using a Monte Carlo simulation of supernova positions, along with modern dust models, we provide a detailed assessment of the observability of the next galactic supernova, including, for the first time, near-infrared estimates, the effect of confusion, and the observability of core collapse supernova progenitors, precursors, shock breakouts, and failed supernovae. In this figure, we show the cumulative magnitude probability distribution of galactic core collapse supernovae. Using our preferred dust model based on the rice extinction maps, and shown here as the solid magenta line, we find that there is a nearly 100% likelihood that a galactic core collapse supernova will be brighter than 5th magnitude in K-band, and about a 96% chance of being brighter than 20th magnitude in V-band. For a Milky Way supernova, the Super Kamiokande neutrino detector will localize the supernova position to within a few degrees. Given the magnitude probability distribution we find, and the expected neutrino pointing uncertainty, it will be possible for near IR and optical instruments to identify the supernova. Though we focus on core collapse supernovae in this paper, we also find the magnitude probability distribution of type 1a supernovae, and note that a galactic type 1a supernova is likely to appear brighter than a core collapse supernova because type 1a supernovae are intrinsically brighter and their spatial distribution has a larger scale height which results in less average line of sight extinction. We use our modeled observability of galactic supernova along with the record of historical supernovae to estimate the rate of galactic supernovae, the ratio of galactic core collapse to type 1a supernovae, and the galactic star formation rate. We show that a galactic core collapse supernova could provide a unique opportunity to obtain detailed observations of the supernova shock breakout. In this figure, we present expected absolute and apparent magnitude probability distributions for the shock breakout. Noting that the majority of shock breakouts will appear brighter than the infrared daytime sky, we present a design sketch of a system capable of detecting the shock breakout even during daytime. Since the shock breakout occurs on timescales ranging from a few seconds to a couple of days after a supernova, it is paramount that neutrino detection experiments provide directional information in near real time in order for an electromagnetic detection of the shock breakout to be possible. We describe the procedure that SuperK will follow in the event of a supernova detection before releasing this information. We further describe eGADS, a system that will provide instant galactic supernova alerts and could give SuperK the confidence needed to provide near real time directional information. We also present an outline of a system capable of detecting extragalactic supernova shock breakouts. We model the observability of likely core collapse supernova progenitors, including the effects of confusion. We find that approximately 92% of likely progenitors have already been observed in K-band by two mass, but less than 60% are likely contained in optical catalogs. We also consider the potential to observe precursor outbursts, but find that current all-sky optical surveys lack the depth needed to be sensitive to such events. Although variability tends to be lower in the near infrared, the lower extinction makes it well suited for monitoring galactic supergiants for precursor episodes. This paper shows that the astronomical community can make important observations of the stages leading up to and including the traditional supernova light curve. However, there are steps that should be taken to ensure that the next rare opportunity to observe a galactic supernova is not squandered. I hope that you have enjoyed watching this video and will read our paper for more information.